Hi, my name is Craig Stevens. I'm the Chief Exec of Doobie Cars. Uh, you may not believe it, but I've got 30 years experience in the automotive marketplace and I'm here to give you some handy hints and tips on how to buy a car in Dubai and the UAE. So the first thing you need to know, and this is really important, especially if you are an expat who's just come here, is that you do need to have a Emirates ID and you do need to have a UAE driving license. That's the first thing you need before you can think about buying a car. The second thing you need to do before you buy a car is think about your finances. Now that's really important again. How much can you actually afford? How much will the bank lend you? And also if you're selling a car, how much is that car worth? And how much money are you gonna get back to put towards your next car? So now you're in a good position, you've got your documentation, you know how much finances you can have. Now you need to think about what's the right car for you and where are you going to buy it from. There are lots of factors when buying a car and I would thoroughly suggest that you make a note of these before you start searching for a car so you don't end up with a Ferrari when you actually needed a Land Cruiser. Work out how many seats you need, work out how many isofixes you need if you're a child, work out how cool you want to look, but they're all the things that you need to take into consideration before you buy a car. Also think about whether you want to buy a petrol car or an EV. There's a couple of things you need to think about there. What you're using the car for, how many miles you're doing, how close are you to a charging point. These are really crucial things to think about. The last thing to think about before you buy is are you going to buy it privately or are you going to buy it from a dealer? Now if you buy it from a private, you probably will get it at a better price. But there are some risks involved around buying it from a private, so you'll have to tread carefully and I'll walk you through that guide later. If you're buying it from a dealer, you will pay a premium, but the dealer will give you a warranty, he has to have a trade license, he'll have premises, there's some recourse if you need to go back to him, and he'll do all the paperwork for you in terms of registration, so he'll make your life easier when you come to buy. Okay, now you're in a position where you've worked out what car you want to buy, or roughly what car you want to buy, and where you're going to buy it from. Now you need to search for this car, okay? So obviously Doobie Cars is the place you should go and there's plenty of filters that are gonna help you search between make, model, uh, what kind of fuel, what kind of price, what kind of mileage. And these things are really important because actually when you find the cars that you want to buy, you will notice there's some differences in price. Now part of that price will be down to what I spoke about earlier. That's because actually the dealer will be charging a premium for the services they offer. But also there are other Im impacts on that price. Obviously the age of the car, the mileage of the car, and the specs. So you'll hear people talk about GCC specs or international specs. All you need to know is that GCC specs means those cars are built for this region. And the other international specs are built for other regions and that will have an impact on price. Okay, now you're good to go. You found the car, you know you're buying it from a dealer or a private, you know the price that you're happy to pay, you've identified the, the one you want to actually get a test drive, contact the owner, organize a test drive, make sure you have a quality test drive, don't just drive it around the corner, go for a five, 10 minute drive so you really get the feel for the car. If you're still happy at this stage and you think this is the car for you, then buy an inspection. These inspections are worth their weight in gold. They will go through the car in fine detail and work out if this car is mechanically sound. It'll work out if this car has been involved in an accident. It'll work out the depth of the paint to ensure the car hasn't been repainted. And you'll have all the information you then need before you go to the next edge of buying. Those inspections can be bought on Doobie Cars and I would thoroughly recommend that you do it before you buy. It's a great insurance policy. So now you're in a great position. You've done the test drive, you've enjoyed the car, you've got the inspection report, you've done your research, you're now in a good position to negotiate. Make a reasonable offer based on all the information that you now have. And if the seller is reasonable, they'll accept that price point because you've given data as to why you want to pay that price for that car. Hopefully the deal is done, you've now paid the price, if you're with a dealer, the dealer will take on most of the paperwork now. So actually the process is really simple from there on in with the dealer. They'll do the registration, they'll pay out any outstanding finance, there'll obviously be no penalty points or anything on that car, so it's really simple. And all you need to do is organize the insurance and some dealers will even do that for you. If you're going down the private route, it's not that hard. Trust me, I've done it many, many a time. You need to go down to a testing center with the buyer, or the seller, get the car tested, make sure you've got all the relevant documents that you need, and then you're in a position where actually you then need to make the transaction. And the final bit of advice I would give you on the transaction is, obviously you've paid a deposit to hold the car, and that's enough for now. 
only transfer the rest of the balance once the car is being transferred into your name. Never pay in advance. Always make sure the car is registered under you. So hopefully all of those tips will help you buy safely. And look, if you do end up in the middle of the desert in a Ferrari, then obviously you haven't listened to anything that I've said. Good luck.